In this section, we will talk about counting to infinity in distance vector routing protocols. As you know, split horizon will break the loop between neighbors by preventing a router to advertise the routes that it learns from an interface back to that same interface. However, it will not stop the loop in this network diagram. Let's analyze together. As you can see in this network diagram, all the routers learned about the route 10.1.5.0. Now all of the sudden, the network 10.1.5.0 went offline. Router 4 will mark that route as unreachable and send the updates to router 3 and router 2. The router 3 and router 2 will mark the route for the network 10.1.5.0 is unreachable. Before either router 3 or router 2 can send the update to router 1, router 1 send the update to router 2 saying that it can reach the network 10.1.5.0 from two hops away. So router 2 learned about that round and it is the best round. So it will update its route table for the network 10.1.5.0 with three hop away. Now it will send the update back to router 4 and router 4 will update its route table for the network 10.1.5.0 from 4 hop away and router 4 will send the update back to router 3 saying that it can reach the network 10.1.5.0 from 4 hop away and router 3 will update its route table for the network 10.1.5.0 from 5 hop away and router 3 will send the update to router 1 for that network and router 1 will update its route table for the network 10.1.5.0 from 6 hop away and uh, now router 1 will send the update again back to router 2 and uh, router 2 will update its route table for that network from 7 hops away and that process is continuing on and uh, all the routers will update the hops increasingly and eventually it become infinity. The way to alleviate the effects of counting to infinity is to define infinity. Most distance vector protocols define infinity to be 16 hops. Let's consider this network diagram along with the current status of the routing tables of each router. Now, router 1 send the update to router 2 and router 2 updates its hop count and send the updates to router 4. Router 4 updates its hop count and send the updates to router 3. Router 3 repeat the same steps and send the update to router 1. Router 1 will do the same 
and send the update to router 2. Router 2 now realize that the hop count is 16 and it knows that it is infinity so it will remove the route from its route table and send the updates to router 4. Router 4 will also remove the route from its routing table and send the update to router 3. Router 3 will do the same by removing the route from its routing table and send the update to router 1 and router 1 will eventually remove the routes for the network 10.1.5.0 from its routing table and the routing table uh, of all the routers will no longer have the routes for the network 10.1.5.0 as you can see, setting a maximum hop count of 15 hertz solve the counting to infinity problem, but the convergence will be very slow given an update of 30 seconds. A network could take up to 7.5 minutes to reconverge and is susceptible to routing errors during this time. The two methods for speeding up reconversions are trigger updates and hold down timers.